first of all, thank you for having us here. This is a really exciting opportunity, um, a unique opportunity uh, for you to hear about a lot of different options that we have right here in Winston-Salem for education, for training, for upskilling, and things like that. So our presentation, uh, we'll try to make it pretty brief so that if you have any questions, we'll have time for those at the end. And I'm gonna try to stay back here in the corner so I don't block the screen. <laughs> um, but does everyone have one of these booklets? Okay, um, this is actually, I am the Dean for Business and Information Technologies at Forsyth Tech. And it's, most of our programs are on our main campus um, on Salas Creek Parkway. We do have um, a center at Innovation Quarters, which is just down the street, but uh, we do not have any curriculum programs offered at that center, although there are some other trainings that's offered there. But uh, this booklet is specific for business and IT programs, and on the very first page, we're just going to go through a couple of items um, as we talk about some opportunities we have on the credit side. Um, of our programs. All of our programs are listed on the front cover page and they're in the order that they're listed. And we are actually a center of academic excellence in cyber defense and security. Um, that is an institutional designation by the National Security Agency and Department of Homeland Security. We've had that designation for about three years now and that's kind of a hidden secret that a lot of people don't know about. But what that means is DHS and NSA has designated our institution as satisfying distinct requirements and what they refer to as knowledge units, not only in our IT programs, but we work across curriculums. We've infused security into business programs, health programs. We've infused it into our operations. Um, at the college level. So we are really um, knowledgeable about that and that's a very important thing in the world as a whole because um, we want to keep our community and um, where we live safe. So this designation enables us to do a lot of things. We've received um, a lot of grants uh, to work with high school students to upgrade our equipment. We have some really neat equipment that will allow us to get onto cell phones and mobile devices and see where people have been and do some, some forensic analysis. Um, so uh, who's interested in security in here? We got anybody? Awesome. Okay, so we have some really strong programs. Um, our IT security program, we include some criminal justice courses in those programs as well because um, if someone creates a data breach or goes into um, an organization illegally, then we, we train you how to track that and do a little bit of forensic investigation and also how to report that to government agencies and things. Um, we also have, I know most of you are probably looking for short-term completions, but if you're looking for a um, two-year degree, we do have a partnership with uh, UNC and Charlotte and um, North Carolina A&T who um, it's a scholarship for service opportunity. We have a college transfer program that focuses on security and then at, you can apply for the scholarship for service and basically what that would do is if a person is selected to receive that scholarship, their second year at Forsyth Tech is paid along with a, a pretty good stipend, um, about a $22,000 stipend, tuition's paid for, books are paid for, um, insurance, also um, the there's travel and professional development opportunities in there as well. And then the agreement is the student would transfer on to either UNC Charlotte or A&T and then their two years at that point at that college would also be paid. Okay, oh, and then <laughs> and then in turn the agreement is the suit the um, upon graduation um, the person would work for local county state or federal government for the term that their scholarship was for, so for three years. Okay, and so that's one of the really cool benefits that we've received as a CAE school and partnering with our university partners. Um, but that is a selection process, it's a scholarship, it is highly competitive. 
Um, and so that's an opportunity that we have that a lot of folks don't know about, but it is a longer term commitment, okay? But we do have some short term commitment, um, some shorter term certificates available too. If you look at the back of the brochure, um, it's about the second or third page from the back. It talks about our NC Complete initiative that we have, and that's competency-based education. Has anybody ever heard of that? Yeah. Okay. So what that is, is we have just done our first semester of a competency-based education program, had some lessons learned, and in the fall, we are opening up a certificate program in networking. Anyone interested in networking? Okay, got a little bit more people there. So um, our networking program, we have a 15-hour certificate. That's five courses. Our fall term is 15 weeks. So you complete 15 hours in 15 weeks. Okay, that's 15 credit hours. And that's um, five courses under competency-based education. It's a little bit flexible, but we have some um, on-campus requirements. Um, online learning it's just a different model of teaching and learning and upon completion the student can graduate with a certificate in networking and it's actually this um, fall it's the certificate in cisco certified network associate that's the one that we're offering this fall beginning in august and that certificate aligns with the industry credential called ccna you're familiar with that? So those courses that the students take <coughs> aligns with the industry certificate. We have a testing center open to the community where anyone can come in, make an online appointment and test for industry certificates, credentials. And so um, you would get the college certificate, be able to sit for an industry credential, and then be employable, um, based entry level employment based on any skills that you may already have. Nice thing about the competency-based education, you may have some skills in IT already. You can, te you can uh, take what we call a proficiency exam and test out of some courses possibly, okay? Um, but that does require uh, general admissions into the college and placement scores and things like that. But you have some time because those courses don't start until August, okay? Um, are there any questions for me? I just wanted to highlight a couple of those things that a lot of folks may not know about the college that we started. Um, but do you have any questions about other programs that I can answer for you? Well, I have a question yes. about this program. Okay. Okay, so if I choose to start in August, um, how will I lobby? Like, um, I, I guess I want to know like the payment, like will I, will I have to do is that where financial aid comes in or okay. is it out of pocket okay so our certificate um, program um, the financial aid and all of that um, mr. Waddell can talk about what are the requirements for financial aid where you go to apply for all of that and I'm not sure about the requirements for this program um, so that would probably be yeah, yeah. additional discussion about oh okay. yeah, yeah. okay other questions? When is the deadline for August to apply? Oh, do we have another one? I'll talk about yeah. that. Yeah, why, do why don't you go ahead? Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 No, that's fine. fine. That's great. I'm, I'm glad y'all are interested. I'm going to kind of talk about some of the logistics of what y'all are asking about. Let me get out of the way here. Um, basically, and this one thing that'll help you, all of you have one of those brown books that say how to guide. Let's see if I have a cat. Everybody have one? I got plenty if you don't. The, the, the back side of it really will tell you a lot of, of good steps. It's like a good checklist of what you do. And of course, your first step is to apply. And you apply online. And let me just show you real quick where that is. Without getting in the way too much. If you go, you see where it says apply. This is the main website for psychtech.edu. If you click on just apply, then you go down to apply online. That's the way to do it. Um, and you'll get this screen. And there's really... Um, two big steps. One, one thing that's new recently is that you do have to um, show your residency. You have to show that you're a resident of North Carolina so you can pay the in-state tuition. And that's step one and then there's step two and it may not be pulling all that up. But to answer your question, there's not really a hard fast deadline like there are with a lot of four-year colleges. You, you need to apply really the sooner the better is my short answer. But 
I mean, we always have students who kind of apply and just barely in time to, to take classes, but a lot of them are gone by then. Um, but I would say if you think you're gonna take classes like in the fall, apply now. I'll give you all a few minutes now. But <laughs> <laughs> apply as soon as possible. But there's not a there's not a hard, fast written down deadline. You must apply by this day, but you cannot be a student at Versailles Tech. And the only thing we really require is that, you know, we'll need your, your high school transcript or your any other college credits you have, we need those. So we can do an evaluation and see what all transfers over um, that you may not have to take. And what was your question again? Is financial aid, right? Um, yes. Okay, and financial aid is all, and that's not determined by Forsyth Tech. We collect financial aid information and it goes to Raleigh to where, well really it's federal um, FAFSA. money. FAFSA. Yeah, FAFSA. FAFSA is what it is. And they decide how much you're awarded, each person is awarded based on, it's all really based on your household income. So they do a formula, we don't even know, I don't know the formula. They, they figure that out, let us know, then we contact the student, let us know how much they're awarded. We also have other scholarships as well. Uh, well, my question was for this specific um, 15 week program, will that be qualified um, for? We, we actually would apply, put you into our competency-based education degree program, but then you would complete that certificate, and if you choose to stop out at that time, and you have what you need, then you can do that. But the way we do um, the financial aid, that degree is um, financial aid eligible. Okay, okay. Yeah. But we have a completion point for you if you obtain employment or need to stop, or you can continue on because in the spring semester, in January, we will have the um, operating system certificate available. Um, the IT Network Management NOS Certified Microsoft and Linux Professional Certificate. So it'll be a different certificate that's available. And each of those certificates align with the requirements for the degree. So as you're completing the certificates, you're completing requirements for the degree as well. So, um, so, the, so for, the, for the scholarship, is there a deadline for that? And is there a time online to apply for the scholarship? Mm -hmm. That is announced um, by our department chair. Um, as we have the scholarship available, there's deadlines for that, and all of that is communicated. We have a specific advisor that students work with for that. We do have the, um, we already have students selected for this year, but then next year there'll be a new scholarship um, available and open for applications. Okay. And, that scholarship is only available in the second year. So if you're entering in and you take the Weird. college transfer uh, program, the AS Applied Science program in the first year, and um, then you can apply for that second year for the scholarship. Yeah. You see, and you can always do a search. Uh, it's sometimes easier than navigating, knowing what all tabs to click on. But on the, on the main page, I did a search for scholarships takes you to general scholarships and the way and they're not it's not up always year round because of there are some deadlines for scholarships but let me see what it's showing right now what you can do is you can apply for one you do one application and it's it's kind of cross-referenced with all of our scholarships mm -hmm. so that you you're automatically they'll look at the ones that the people in financial aid will look at what you're eligible for as far as scholarships, and it just kind of depends. So that way you don't have to pick and choose. I may be eligible for this one and not this one. I think it used to be that way. So did you have another? Yes, sorry. Yeah, so the, the courses that are listed here, the programs that are listed here, and the things I cover, cover mm -hmm. more, um, which ones have, which one of the, which of them have is certificate towards the, towards the course? Does all, do all of them have? All of, all of our programs, the certificates mm -hmm. align with our degree. With an degree. Mm -hmm. So when you, so when you apply, you can apply for the degree and you can either take the courses um, in order by certificate or you can take them in order as the associate degree. Um, that way, if, if you feel like you may not be able to complete the degree and you want to complete it in order of certificates, you can do that. Um, but the degree will allow you to be financial aid eligible. And let me just, just to throw this out there, this, this is more exhaustive. This, what Ms. Short gave you was um, basically a lot of the 
BIT, Business Information Technology Programs, a lot of IT and all. This book has every program we offer, just so you see all the different selections. And from page 6 to 16, list all of our programs, uh, including the ones you have in that, that book with all the business information programs. And it has the contact information right, for, for the folks right. over there. Gives you an idea of an entry level salary that changes a lot, so it's not always completely mm -hmm. accurate every day. But um, then under credentials, you can see what we offer with diploma certificate or AAS just means the two year associate degree. So My question will be back for you. So uh, what is coming up in August? And then what's coming in January? I'm, I'm okay. For that competency-based education program, beginning in August, we will have the courses available for the Cisco Certified Network Associate. And beginning in January, um, we will have the NOS Certified Microsoft and Linux Professional. Thank you. Okay. For, for those CBE programs, um, when you apply, you would just apply for the um, associate degree in networking, but then if you're interested in the CBE because there's an interview process, um, just an information session more or less to let, to let you know what is the expectations of CBE, how does that work, how is it different and similar to um, our regular programs. And uh, Marianne Pittman Couch is the contact person. She is that student success coach. Um, and we have a, a um, web page on that as well that and I, I can show you. Okay, and the scholarships there where you see endowed in general, that's where you can click on and just I, and look at either one and, and do one application. What did you want me to? Um, go to the bit, okay. scroll up to the top. Ah, go on. Okay. And then courses and programs, yeah. and business and information technologies. Okay. Well, did it. <laughs> and then if there's a competency-based education program right. listed. Right there. Right there. And scroll down. <coughs> And that gives you our contact information to our student success coach, um, Ms. Pittman Couch. It also has some other information on that. So once you apply and you're interested in that, she is the contact person at the college to um, work with you to uh, change your degree and, and those types of things. But we go through this process because it is quite different than our standard um, programs and courses. It's a pilot program that we're offering. Any other questions? Uh, you guys? All right, that's it. Thanks for signing. Thank you.